Hi, I'm Lisa. Today I'll be guiding you on how to navigate and use Jibble as a member on both web and mobile. Firstly, we'll look into Jibble's web app which can be opened on any web browser of your choice. Once you log into your account, you'll see the dashboard. You can clock in here, choose an activity and project, and click save to start the timer. You can also switch to a different activity or project, start and end the break, and clock out once you're done for the day. The dashboard also gives you a visual summary of your track time at a glance. You can navigate between day, week, or month to view your summary for that time frame. If a calendar has been set up by your admin, you'll be able to view any upcoming holidays here. You will also see charts of your track time broken down by worked hours, breaks, and overtime hours. The activities and projects chart show you the total hours you have spent on each activity or project. The times displayed on all the charts will change depending on the time frame that was chosen earlier. If permissions are granted for you, you will be able to view other members in your group who are currently in, on break, or out. On the Timesheets tab, you will see a list of your time entries recorded. You can navigate to daily, weekly, or monthly timesheets and click on the arrows to view other days, weeks, or months. Rest days, public holidays, and time off will also be displayed on your timesheets. To get a detailed view of your time entries, click on the time. You'll see the different activities and projects you have worked on for that day and how much time was spent on each activity and project. At the bottom, you will see your total tracked hours, total payroll hours, and the change history if any edits have been made to your time entries. If you prefer to simply see your total hours, you can click on the payroll view to get a breakdown of your track time. If your admin has granted you access to manually edit time, you will see the Add Time Entry button. This allows you to add either a manual time entry or an hour entry. Enter what you've worked on and click Save to log time. If a pay period has been set by your admin, you can go to Approvals to view your timesheets for each pay period. Admins will be able to approve your timesheets which will then be reflected in the Status column. On the Time Off page, you can view your upcoming or past time off that has been added by your admin. On the Work Schedules tab, you will see the work schedule that you have been assigned to which include your working hours, breaks, overtime rules, and locations. If geofencing is enforced, you will only be able to track time once you're within the radius of the set locations. Clicking on your name at the bottom left corner will enable you to switch to another organization if you are part of multiple organizations. Your account settings is where you'll see all the details of your account. You will also be able to set personal notifications and reminders if you wish to get reminded to clock in or clock out before and after your scheduled work time. To receive push notifications via mobile, you will need to enable notifications via the mobile app. Select the checkbox for time clock alerts to get alerted about reminders and automatic clockouts. Now we'll move on to the mobile app which includes a few additional features. You can download the mobile app on the App Store or Play Store. Once you log into your account on the mobile app, you'll see the home screen which is similar to the dashboard on web. You can also view your work schedule details here. An additional feature on the home screen is the GPS Reminders widget. If geofencing is enabled by your admin, you can click on the link to turn GPS Reminders on and receive reminders when you enter or leave an authorized work location. The Time Clock screen is where you can start tracking time. If facial recognition and location tracking is required by your organization, Jibble will verify your face upon clocking in and your current location will be timestamped. Then, you can choose an activity and project and click Confirm to start the timer. You can also add hours manually if access has been granted to you, switch to a different activity, start and end the break, and clock out once you're done for the day. All data is synced online, so if you clock in via mobile, the web app will reflect that. On the timesheet screen, you will see a list of your time entries. If you wish to view your time entries for a particular day, you can choose a day from the calendar. To get a detailed view of time entries recorded, click on View Daily Timesheet. 
The clock icon at the top right corner shows you a change history with details of any edits made to your time entries. If enabled by your admin, you can click on the plus icon to add manual time or hour entries. On the approval screen, similar to web, you can view your timesheets for each pay period if a pay period has been set by your admin. The status of each pay period timesheet will also be indicated here. For additional settings, go to the menu screen. If you belong to multiple organizations, you can switch between different organizations here. On the time off screen, you can view your upcoming or past time off that has been recorded by your admin. On the personal settings screen, you can edit your details and set up your face data if facial recognition is enforced in your organization. You will see your device settings on the device tab. Depending on the time tracking settings set by your admin, you may be required to use your camera and or location services when clocking in or out. The notifications tab enables you to choose the channels in which to receive notifications and turn Geofence reminders on to receive alerts when you enter or exit an authorized work location. Lastly, you can sign out of your account. And this brings us to the end of the video guide. I hope it has helped you better understand Jibble and ease your navigation through our app. Till next time!